Hey Scorpios, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Scorpios. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Love messages, please, for Scorpios. What's going on with Scorpios? What's going on with Scorpios? Okay, here we go. We have the hard font. Taurus's energy is here. Okay. We have the death card. Your energy always uh, showing up strong in your own reading. <laughs> okay. The death card. Scorpio is here. And then the page of pentacles. Okay. Woo. Some of you, it's that energy of, yes, you could have ended something. Someone could have ended something as well to come toward you. Vice versa. Put the characters where they go for your personal situation, Scorpios. I feel like a lot of you, if you haven't ended anything, a lot of you have transformed. A lot of you have leveled up. Could be spiritually leveling up right now. Okay, you could be getting a lot of spiritual downloads or hits or spiritual dreams. Some of you are dreaming a lot. You're getting a lot of messages through your dreams is what I feel with the hard font. Okay, and a lot of you are transforming, going to this next level. Okay, and going through some type of death that could be death in, you know, your own mindset or the way you used to do things or the people you used to be around, things of that nature. But I feel like there's going to be some type of communication coming in. It could be with an earth sign for a lot of you or fellow Scorpio. But yeah, let's see what this is. Let's just get right into it. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What is this hard font for Scorps? Why is the hard font here? We have the Four of Cups, okay? We have the Knight of Cups. Mm. And we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah. I feel like Scorpios, something, yeah, Queen of Swords energy, something possibly did not work out or that that was the fear or that has been the fear that something is not going to work out. Someone could be very afraid of coming in and getting their heart broken. Someone could be sad, feeling rejected, Four of Cups, wanting to date, wanting to offer you something, but afraid of this, Ten of Swords very afraid to get hurt okay you are your person what is this death card show me this death card for scorpios eight of wands okay with the temperance card could be a sagittarius for some of you with the moon card yeah i feel like there has for this person whoever this is to you this person needed time to figure out their emotions here because when you get the moon this is cancerian energy with sag the moon with temperance someone needed to balance out their emotions or this is what they're currently doing someone may not uh have been reaching out eight of wands okay may not have been messaging or talking to you because they're still trying to wait on something they could have a lot of deep feelings and emotions for you with the the moon energy Okay, so someone is in this transition of transforming themselves. Show me that moon. Okay, the moon. Whoa, ten of cups with the two of cups. The star card healing could be dealing with an Aquarius. This person is healing and this is what they could even be praying. I'm getting ten of cups with the two of cups. This is what they want with you, Scorpio. But things have been taking time, possibly after there's been some type of ending or no communication, a period of a pause here where this person has been literally tempering out their emotions or balancing out something, okay? Figuring out what they really want. And now they know what they want. They want a true commitment with you. Feeling the Two of Cups energy, soulmate energy with you. Page of Pentacles, show me. Show me this page of pentacles. Yeah, the sun. Someone's coming in with communication. Leo's energy is here. Yeah, with the fool wanting a brand new beginning with you. Wow. A queen of wands. Ooh, could be a fire sign. For others of you, it could be someone in the energy of the queen of wands. Someone you could be very attracted to as well. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Someone desires this with you. What are their intentions for Scorpio? This person. What are their intentions for Scorpio? 
nine of swords they're worried okay seven of cups uh-huh the chariot this person is worried that you could be moving on but they want the ten of pentacles with you this person could also be dreaming about you it could be a bit of mirroring happening here the nine of swords with the seven of cups if spirit has been giving you nudges about this person, they may be feeling the same thing energetically, okay? But the chariot is here. Cancerian energy. This person wants to move things forward with you. What is this person's intentions? Six of pentacles, okay? Equal give and take. Eight of cups with the nine of cups. Coming in to have wish fulfillment. This person could be very emotional at this time. Lots of cups energy on their side. We have the Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, a lot of Cups energy. Could be a fellow water sign for you guys. But someone is coming in with this intention. Could be a Virgo for some of you, okay? Could be someone older. Yeah, Scorpio, someone could want to make this right. Libra's energy with Virgo's energy. Someone could want to make this right. They've been researching, going within, okay? Wanting a future. Look at that, yes. Wheel of Fortune with the King of Wands. Now we have a match. Queen to the King of Wands. Seeing a future with you, wanting to move this forward, coming in with a solid offer, Knight of Pentacles. This person wants a solid relationship with you. What does Scorpio want with this person? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What are Scorpio's feelings or thoughts toward this person? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you shuffle and it comes back out. King of Wands. Okay. You feel the same way, Scorpio. You feel the same way with this person. King and Queen of Wands, both two people. You're very, ooh, Scorpios, you're very passionate about this person. The the devil energy. This this is a person that, that sparks your fire, that lights your fire. This is a person who gets you going. You feel very attracted to them. But these are two people, you and this person, these are two people who are very ambitious you may both have like dreams and goals that are similar. You may both be on fire for life. You may both have a lot of energy. You may both, you know, love life or you love to travel. You both love to have fun. Both love to laugh. Okay. That's the energy that I'm getting with the King and Queen of Wands. It's a fun, fiery energy between the two of you. And it's like being in a room and the two of you could be across from each other and still feel each other's energy that's what i'm getting from that king and queen of wands how scorpio feeling about this person two of pentacles okay yeah page of wands uh-huh okay and the judgment you want this person to talk to you you could be wondering why they're not talking two of pentacles with the page of wands it's like what is up what is going on two of pentacles with the communication why don't you say how you feel or why don't you talk to me more judgment something resurfacing you want to bring something back with this person you want to talk to them again you want to take action with them again okay you could want to make love okay that's coming through strong that sexual energy is here the ten of pentacles still at the bottom of the deck wow anything else scorpio should know about this person or the situation anything else scorpio should know both of you are manifesting okay okay you want to talk and they want to manifest gemini's energy is here queen of pentacles long-term loyalty eight of pentacles working things out working out the logistics of being together with this person very spiritual energy coming through now we have the uh high priestess pisces energy with the Harfont, which is the high priest, very spiritual energy. The two of you have a telepathic connection or the two of you have this connection where you almost could finish each other's sentences or you know what each other is thinking. Even if you're apart from this person, you can feel their energy. That's the energy that I'm getting with the uh, high priest and the high priestess, king and queen of wands as well. Feeling this person's energy no matter what. Ooh, something just fell out. Seven of Wands. Okay. Why is that Seven of Wands here? Okay. Yeah, Scorpios, this person does not want to be left out in the cold. Ace of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. They could be very stubborn and willing to fight for you, 
they don't want you to get away. <laughs> this person does not want you to get away. Show me who this person is. Let's move to this deck. Show me who this person is for Scorpios. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Who is this person coming in for Scorpios? Could be a Capricorn for some of you or someone in that energy. Who is this person? Could be a Gemini. Who is this person? Could be an Aquarius for some of you. And also Scorpio at the bottom of the deck. So this could be a person, if they're, if it's not this sign, this person could be in the energy of, of these signs. So if it's a Capricorn energy, if this is a person who's very serious, a person who's very practical, methodical, they would want a long-term commitment, someone who's very loyal, okay? Also someone who could be very financially stable or have their own business. Gemini's energy uh, here, you guys, could be twin flame energy. The twins are here. Could be someone who's very smart, very analytical, okay? Someone who also loves to travel, loves to have a good time. Geminis can be the life of the party. Also, Aquarius is the same way, hum humanitarian energy coming through. This could be a person who is very well-known, very expansive. With, when you get Aquarius's energy, they could have a large friendship circle as well. The number 11 could come through strong. We have 11, 3, and 10. That could mean something uh, to you or be significant for you. I know 10 is your uh, birthday season, you guys, and so is 11, okay? So that could be significant for you. So let's come over here. What's the advice for Scorpios in this situation? Advice for Scorpios? Unlikely. Get more information, and let's get one more big happy changes yeah for a lot of you i think you got this before in like maybe last week or the week before you got unlikely some of you i'm telling you you have thought that things were unlikely i know you got this one before there's something better you thought that things were unlikely to happen for you or maybe you have just dealt with a lot of past bullshit you know, and you're like, you know what, forget it. I'm going to just be single and be on my own. Yeah, I'll date around and, you know, maybe go out for a drink or two with some people, you know, but I'm not going to commit myself to anyone. And Spirit is saying, get more information on this person because something is coming in with big, happy changes. Believe what Spirit has for you. There's something better. And I feel like that message keeps coming through to encourage you guys because you have been through a lot, Scorpios. In your past readings, you've been through a lot. You've gone through divorces, separations, and a bunch of, you know, shitty ass relationships where you felt like you were not being treated as you were supposed to be treated or you weren't getting reciprocity from someone. But you guys, hang in there because this big happy change coming with this person, this king and queen of wands energy, high priest, high priestess energy, this is someone who is on your level, deeply intimate connection here and an intense connection. So it's coming through, baby. Alrighty, you guys, that is your energy, Scorpios. Take care. Bye.